Welcome to Boost Product Filter and Search Tutorial Video Series. In this video, we'll take a deeper insight into the Instant Search display. Instant Search is a sub-feature of the search, that predicts what you're searching for, and shows search results in a drop-down box as you type. To leverage user experience, we've brought some exciting updates to this feature. Let's look at what's new with our Instant Search. First, we come to the Instant Search layout settings. Instead of only the drop-down one-column layout as before, now you have more options to choose, including overlay full width and drop-down two columns, which is set as default. Let's try with the default drop-down two columns, the Instant Search widget on the storefront will look like this. And now try with the overlay full width. It will look like this. You can switch to another layout type and adjust the element in each layout. For example, you can choose list mode or grid mode, the products on the left or right column, and the number of products in a row. Now let's turn to the display settings, which lie under the layout settings. With this setting, you can manage what displays on your instant search widget when your customers just click on the search box, when the system returns results, and when it returns no results. Now, let's configure the content to display on the search widget when your customers first click on the search box, by accessing the search box on click tab. In this tab, you can enable sections of recent searches, search term suggestions, and product suggestions. The recent search is already turned on by default. Feel free to edit the label and adjust the number of displayed results as you want. For example, I change the name of recent searches into history and choose to display two display results. Click Save. Now, let's look at the storefront. When you just click on the search box, the recent searches will appear. Do similar if you want to suggest the search terms and products you want. For example, I type mini dress as the suggested search term. Click Save. The result will look like this. Now, let's turn to the Instant Search widget tab. It allows you to configure the content to display on the search widget when your customers are typing a search term. The content of the Instant Search drop-down widget contains popular suggestions, products, collections, blogs and pages. You also get the power to enable or disable, rename, reorder these blocks, or change the maximum shown results for each block. Besides, adjusting what information you want to show on the product suggestions block is a piece of cake with this function. When your customers are typing in the search box, the instant search will look like this. Finally, we'll come to a handy feature, and you've already been familiar with it, no search results suggestion. When your customers search for keywords that returns no products, you can use this feature to provide them with other alternatives. This helps your customers discover other results under your control, thus encouraging product discovery and boosting conversion. To use this feature, simply enable and type the suggested search terms or choose recommended products. Then, click Save. In my example, I set the search term bikini set, and the product red Hawaii bikini set. This is how it works on the storefront. When you search a keyword with no results such as sun, it displays the suggested keyword bikini set, and suggested product red Hawaii bikini set. If you are experiencing issues that your instant search settings don't display on your storefront, please check if the app is well installed with your live theme. Navigating to theme, choose theme setup. We strongly recommend you duplicate your theme before setting up the filter and search on the duplicated version. You will be able to test how the app works without affecting your live theme. We have prepared a document link for you to follow, in case you don't know how to duplicate it. After duplicating the theme, Click on I have duplicated my theme, then select the theme you want to install our filter and search. And choose the filter position. Choose run setup and wait for the process to finish. That wraps up today's tutorial video. Thanks for your watching. Reach us at this email if you need any further assistance.